Hello, right, my name's Manny and I'm an artist and I'm here to talk to you about an arts project. Today we're going to be making silhouettes. Ta-da! For this project you will require a window. Now this is a very large window, but what you require a window for, because it will act as a canvas. Once you've finished your creations, you will stick it on said window and it will be viewed either by the public on the street or by the people in your own home. Anyway, point is not. Other materials you require for this project include, just move Leo the duck, quack quack, paper. Now I've got a large sheet here and if you've got large sheets, fantastic, this is great stuff. Because when you do your silhouette, as we'll show later on, you'll be standing here, a torch will be shining here and you will copy your shape that we can later cut out and add glorious things to. But if you don't have a large sheet of paper, no worries, not an issue. You can get lots of white paper together and stick it using tape, either masking or sticky tape, which you would also need for this project. And once you've got that, you can create a large sheet out of your small sheets. And the same thing applies. You'll also need coloured paper if you've got it. If not, no worries, but coloured paper is a fantastic thing for most art projects. You've got yourself some blacks, you've got yourself some pinks, we've got some reds. Anyway, you get the idea. We've got beautiful colours here. And if you've got colours at home, fantastic. If not, and you've still only got that white paper, then fear not. We have pens that we can use for this project and then colour everything in afterwards. Also, you will require a good quality pair of scissors and a torch. So, we'll move on to phase one. Hello, welcome back. And now we're going to make a silhouette. Couldn't be easier. Right, step one, find yourself a room, close all the curtains, make it as dark as possible. Step number two, get your large sheet of white paper and cover it in your location. Right, step three, get yourself a torch. Could be on your camera, could be any old torch. Put it at eye level to the other side of the room until there's a point where it creates a nice shadow when you're stood in front of it, in front of your white piece of paper, that is. Step four, this is the important one. Get a partner, friend, person you're living with and take some pens and get them to draw your silhouette. Now you want to stand close to the piece of paper. Not so close that you're touching it, but just close enough. Then stay very still and very careful. Your partner should be able to draw around it. Then step back. Have a look at what you've created. And if you want to make adjustments and, and such, get yourself a different colour. So, say, for example, you've done it in red, you could use black and make adjustments, and then you've got the line. Once you've done that, you've completed your first silhouette. Well, life size silhouette. And then we'll go from there. Banging. Now you should have something like this, a silhouette on a piece of paper all sketched out and now it's ready to be cut out. Snip, 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 snip. Now you have a choice here. You can either colour it all in and then cut it out or cut it out and colour it in. Or you could have some sheets of black paper all put together or one large sheet if you've got it and then put that on adjacently, stick that on and then cut that out so you have two sheets. Or even more, you get lots of coloured sheets together and using a bit of tape and a bit of scissors and a bit of ingenuity, you could have a patchwork, as is the fashion at the minute, like this, rainbow pattern. And then all you have to do is stick that on the back, like you would some black sheets. So you've got this like so, and you lay this like so, 
And then once you stick that onto that, I'll do it again here to be sure. You can then cut that out. You should have something pretty funky. So we'll see what we got. Cool. Right, so now you cut it out, you should have the white piece, like so. So there's me, oh yeah. And then look, against that dark surface, you can see it really quite well, and you can colour it in at this point. And then here is the other piece I cut that was underneath. And look, this is the coloured version. Obviously you've got the flip side, so you can do it either which way. I think this looks pretty cool. And then subsequently I'm going to do the hand and a few other bits and put it all together. And then I'm going to display it on the window using a bit more cellar tape. So now at this point it's up to you to be imaginative, creative and just have some fun. And then I'll show you what I've done with my finished display. Cool. So we're at the end, and now it is. Now it's time for you to get creative. So this is my end result. Da da, my silhouette, and I'm doing a bit of a trumpet. And I've got a top hat, and I had some fun with some scissors and cut some paper out, and added some fun shapes. And that's what I want you to do. Once you've got your silhouette, maybe you could do another one. Maybe you have another family member, and maybe you could add some text with it and say, "Either thank you," or you could say, "Hello, how are you?" Or "I'm having chicken tonight." You know what I mean, you can have a go for it. Anyway, I used these out of cardboard and had some fun, and they were from another project. But you don't have to use cardboard, you can do the same as this, but you could just use paper and cut out the letters and the shapes, and you should get a banging result. If you're interested in this sort of art, paper art, I strongly recommend you check out the artist Matisse. I think he's a great artist, and his work over this stuff is well documented and rather fantastic. Anyway, on that joyous note, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a good time, I hope you, the project looks great. And yeah, have, have a good one. What's up?